Hello Gemini and welcome to me Tarot. Today we're going to be doing uh, the weekly reading, but I'm going to be doing it a little different this week. It's the first week of spring. You know, uh, all the animals are uh, waking up from their hibernation. They're all coming out now. You've got your skunks and your possums, raccoons. Oh, the birds are all flying around looking to build their new nests and the animals are getting ready, you know, spring, getting ready to mate. And, uh, so I thought, well, let's just see what animal energies are coming to you for this first week of spring. So we're going to use the animal, um, the animal oracle spirit cards for you here and see what uh, animals are coming forward to you for this week. And um, the next week we'll go back to our general tarot reads again. I just thought it would be a little something different to do this week. So here we have, in this category here, is going to be for, for love, love and friendships, uh, romantic, the love category, friends, family, love, something you love to do. And, uh, well, I'm looking at the, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and this is for your goals and, um, for your goals and your finances this week. And then this will be the, your animal here for, um, just for the general week, for your whole general week in general here. And, uh, you know, it, may, it might explain these animals a little more, too. They may all start to blend together for your message. So let's see what you have here. All right, this is for love and relationships. You have know your worth. Know your worth. You have the beautiful little skunk. And this pretty little skunk. And I just mentioned a skunk. We're waking up now and they're coming out and spreading their cute little stink all around. <laughs> I, I think skunks are cute. <laughs> they're very pretty little animals. But anyhow, all right. So the skunk's coming forward you in, into the, in your love relationships, into your love category here. Little skunk just wants to remind you to know to uh, learn to accept yourself more in love. This is. The little skunk is just coming out, and he's, he's telling you to love yourself. This is what this, this message of love is for you. It's just, um, it's not talking about relationships of any way. It's, this is, reading is for you. It's speaking of you. It wants you to, to uh, go within and, and love yourself for whom you are and for what you do. Um, you get this pretty little skunk sitting on top of this flower. Flowers smell beautiful. You know, skunks only, uh, you know, spray when they're, they're feeling threatened. You know, they're only, they're really beautiful little animals. And he doesn't, this little skunk's coming forward and telling you, wants you to love yourself for who you are. Um, you know, his little tail, his little tail isn't sticking straight up. He's not getting, the little skunk's not getting ready to spray or anything. <coughs> He's like, I got, this little skunk is bringing you, is telling you, hey, I'm a skunk. I get bad reputation, you know. Everyone's afraid of me. They think I'm going to hurt them. And all I'm doing is digging around for little grubs, going about my own way. You startle me, um, I'm going to give you a warning, and if you don't back off, then yeah, I'm going to spray you. But he, you know, just think of how, you know, if you could just, Imagine that you're yet you're a skunk with human thoughts, you know. Wouldn't you think, gosh, why do people, why did they do that? Why did they all run from me? So he he wants you to uh, to accept who you are, to accept who you are, and to love and to love yourself for whom you are. Uh, don't worry about society, all right, and anything of such like that. The little skunk wants you to know your worth. He wants you. He's bringing you. That now he wants to bring you that knowledge and that energy for you to stand in your own power, stand in your own power and know know your worth, you know. Okay. But there, there's no reason to, uh, in any type of uh, anything you have a passion or a love for, there, there's no reason for someone to actually to uh, say, well, you're not good enough for me, uh, you know, because. We don't have the right kind of shoes or, you know, whatever scenario, how you want to word it and what you want to do with it. You know, oh, I, I, I like brunettes, you have blonde hair, you know, no, 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 no. 
This is what the skunk wants to remind you, to love your, to love yourself and know your own worth. Everybody is, everybody is the same. Everybody is the same. And then for your finances, you have the peacock spirit. Uh, let it shine. Let your goals and your uh, peacocks coming through telling you to let to let it shine. Let it shine. Um, a beautiful green, a beautiful green here in blue. Blue is for communication. Green is for love and growth. Health, health and growth. Blue is communication. Look at the golden light here on this peacock shining right out of its heart, right? So again, he wants the peacocks coming to you with your goals and with your dreams and hopes and wishes and finances and telling you to speak your mind. You know, know your worth, okay? You know, know, know your worth. Speak your mind. Speak your mind. Speak your mind. Blue is for communication. Look at all this beautiful blueness sticking up here. Got this golden heart glowing here. Speak your mind to reach and to, uh, yeah. I know this is, this is for finances, but I'm kind of veering off of that. <laughs> I'm thinking, uh, you know, let it shine. Little skunk wants you to know your worth, and here's your heart. Here's your heart just a glowing here. Use your communication and your and and grow within yourself, and spread and spread your wings. You know, spread these your feathers out. Look at the eyeballs on. Look at all the eyeballs on these on this um. Peacock's feathers here. Bunch of insight. Do your re you know, bunch of insight. And also, do your research. If there's some goal or something that you're achieving, trying to achieve, or perhaps you want to get a loan or something, you know, we can, uh, you know, check the contracts. Check around. Use your insight. Use your intuition. You got all these eyes on this card. You know, look around, check check other check all the sources out and see who has the best interest rate and everything like that. Um, but yeah, let let your heart shine. Let your heart shine and you go. You grow you you will grow and communicate with all the goals that you're trying to achieve. Use the peacock spirit this week and just let yourself shine in that category. And uh, that's the energy that the peacock's bringing you for this first week of spring here on goals and finances. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Check for loopholes. Read the fine print on anything that you're going to sign. And uh, do your research. You know, look, search. If you're all these eyes, it's, it's giving you, bring that insight into you. And know your know your worth and and go for it. Let it shine. And your last and final card here is the wombat wombat spirit. It says, "Be at home. Be at home. Be at home." In other words, be at peace. Be at home with yourself. Be at home. <laughs> be at peace. Know your worth. Let yourself shine. There's a beautiful little wombat here. He's well grounded. Keep yourself grounded. You know, do your research. Do your research. You know, don't let the stink and don't let the stink and bad words and everything come on to you. Don't let them come on to you. You just take this little skunk power. Take the little skunk power. Give your warning. You know, give your warning and give your warning to them. And then uh, you know, know what you're worth. Know your worth. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself, and be it. You'll you'll become in, at peace with uh, yourself this week. These animals are just offering a uh, offering offering you uh, well good advice and and just to uh, you know to be one with yourself and and accept who you are. Like I was saying in the very beginning, accept who you are. Be at peace with yourself. Don't worry about the others here. Keep yourself grounded. Know what you're worth and then just go out there and just let 
just let this, you know, just going to shine. You may notice that people are coming forward to you a lot this week. It's that inner knowing, that inner light, the inner love you have for yourself. And it is going to start to shine, shine brightly. And people are going to be noticing that. So, you know, don't be surprised, uh, you know, this, this week if you give a lot of people, um, coming forward to you or you know strangers just talking to you right know your worth you know don't get upset don't shy away you know you don't want to spray them like with you don't want to spray them you pay attention to them be shining bright this week all right and you have a great day we'll see you next week for your regular tarot readings bye now